Hi, I'm going to show you how to rotate a camera in a perfect circle around an object. Anybody that's used keys on the timeline knows it's pretty difficult to do. <laughs> so, uh, without using a, a track, um, just using the expression editor and a camera. Okay, first we take the camera and here's the transform attributes, translate, rotate, scale. So uh, what we'll do first is we need to modify the X axis and the Z axis of the position of the camera. So we'll open up the expression editor and translate X first. So what we want as the frames play, the camera will rotate around the object. So the key to doing that is to use sine on one axis and a cosine on the opposite axis. So here we go. Sine frame, which is your frame number. As frames progress, that number becomes bigger. Um, and we'll divide it by the inverse to 360 degrees or in 360 steps which is 57.2986 and then uh, this is going to result in a very small number so we'll multiply it up by 20 that'll be the distance away from the axis. Okay, we'll create that one. Make sure it uh, went through. Okay, there it is. <coughs> no red. Now we'll do the translate Z. Same uh, thing, except with a cosine, which is basically 90 degrees out of phase with the sine. Okay, cosine frame divided by 57.2986 excuse me and we'll multiply that also by 20 that that means we'll get a perfect uh, circle okay now we'll create that if I didn't goof up there's a camera I don't know if you can see it very well on the little screen. Now as I progress through the frames, well we'll expand the frames out to, uh, well, let's do it this way, 300, uh, 359 let's say, because it's starting at zero that counts as 360. Okay, we'll enter that. Oh. <laughs> okay, we'll just expand it out manually. There it is, okay, 359. Now watch the camera, we'll rotate around the center object. Well, we need to put an object in there, I guess. So we'll put a cube in there so we can tell that it's actually rotating. Now, there's one problem with this. And we'll change over to camera perspective and I'll run it. The cube, where did it go? It's because the camera is not pointing at the cube. It's just going around always pointing the same way. So what we need to do, we'll go back to perspective view, is take the camera again and control its Y axis so it points towards the cube. So well, that's, oh yeah right, we'll use the expression editor for that I suppose. Okay, right. okay, so we want just camera Y rotate to equal frame. So that way, when it's 90 degrees, it's pointing 90 degrees, uh, or so is the theory. Now, as you can see, the camera is actually pointing towards the cube at this moment. Now we'll go back over to, maybe I'll make this cube a little bit bigger, and we'll take it, give it some feeling <laughs> and we'll make it a little bit well, we'll make it shaped differently so you can see it better. Okay. Now we'll go to camera. Now I'll run it. 
And there we are. A perfect rotate. Okay. Now, if I tilt the camera, you'll see I can actually still do the rotate no matter which way the camera's tilted. Now, you can lock attributes <coughs> to uh, deviate the camera position-wise. Because the y-axis isn't affected by this, you can actually do this. Uh, a helicopter circling type of view. But you might want to go a little further and transport the central axis of the camera. Uh, so the best way to do that is to group it. Oh, I should have shown you group. This is how the group is set up under World and Origin. So you group it. There's only one thing in the group. But when it's in a group, you can move it around. Thus. So I could make it come in close to the cube as it's circled by, and then go far from the cube type of thing although the camera is now pointing in a different direction so we'll only see the cube more or less pass by in and out of the... there it goes <laughs> but uh, this enables you to circle around um, if you were going down, a, you had a spaceship let's say and you wanted a 360 view around it but you were also traveling down the spaceship you could use this method you can also tilt the camera on its axis and do some really cool effects. When you place a better object than a cube in there, you can do some pretty cool stuff and get some pretty cool perspectives from the camera. Oops. Oh, well, I've kind of goofed up there, but anyway, <laughs> that's the basic idea of the whole thing. So, hope this has helped somebody out there. And this is Sandy saying bye.